minimize tool. And now what we need to do is we need to delete a certain section of our .jms file that we created with Chimp. So we're going to open up WordPad in Accessories. Let's open up that. Then go to File, Open, locate your Halo Custom Edition root directory. Go to Data, Levels, Beginner, Models, and change files of type to All Documents. Now we're going to open up beginner.jms. Open up that. Now the section we need to delete is everything before and including the line begin jms. So select all that and delete it. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. And delete everything and including the line end jms. So delete that. Now save it. And open up or maximize tool again. Now we're going to type in tool structure space levels backslash beginner um, space beginner so click enter wait for that to finish okay so with that done minimize tool now we're going to open up gorilla again close that go to file open Go to your Halo Custom Edition root directory, go to Tags, Levels, and you notice now we have, instead of our Levels, we have a Beginner file, and that's what we were doing in Tools, it was creating our Scenario file, so open up Beginner, open up Beginner.Scenario, open that. Now we're going to add our actual sky to our map, so at Skies, click Add, click all three dots, okay, Halo Custom Edition root directory, go to Tags, sky you can choose any kind of sky you want here but we're just going to use clear afternoon in this case whatever sky you choose make sure you use the dot sky file so open up we're going to use clear afternoon dot sky in this ex example so open up that and we want this to be a multiplayer map so under type change it to multiplayer and scroll down to a little bit above halfway until you see starting equipment and this is going to be what master chief is going to start off and uh, start off with when we run our map in Halo Custom Edition. So click Add. Our type 0, we're going to change this to All Games. This just makes it so that it's available in all game types such as CTF, Slayer, etc. So for our first weapon, which is Item Collection 1, click three little dots. Locate your Halo Custom Edition root directory. Go to Tags, um, Item Collections, Single Weapons and you can choose any kind you want here but I'm just going to use assault rifle so open up that then this is going to be our second weapon so click that go to Halo Custom Edition root directory tags item collections single weapons choose whatever you want here I'm just going to click pistol and then you can also add grenades inside of these slots just by um, clicking that go to tags item collections single weapons either fragmentation grenades or plasma grenades and each item collection is for one grenade so you can have up to four grenades but I'm not going to do that in this case so close I'm just going to close that now I'm going to save this okay so now we're going to run radiosity in our map which is just going to create the lighting and everything so Open, uh, ma maximize tool. I'm going to type in tool light maps space levels backslash beginner backslash beginner space beginner space zero space zero point nine. And here I'll just zoom in there so you can see it better. So then that's what it should look like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back out. Now click enter and just wait for that to finish. It might take a little bit for you. So 
just wait for that to finish. Okay, so that's done. And don't worry about the warning that it says right there. It's nothing to be concerned with. So minimize tool. And we're going to open up our Sapien program. Locate your Halo custom edition directory. Go to tags, levels, beginner. Open up our beginner dot scenario. So open that. Wait for that to load. It also might take a little bit. But it didn't for me, so. You probably have a couple different windows here and there around yours. Arrange those to however you like them, but I'm just going to have it so it's one big window for each thing. So now we're going to hit the little squiggly line on your keyboard, which should be next to to the left of one and above the tab key. So click that. So now there should be a little pink halo thing down there at the bottom that you can see. So now I'm going to type in radiosity underscore save. Hit enter. Or hold on. Yep, that did it right. So I'll click a little squiggly line until it goes away. Click up the file, save scenario. Okay. Now, to the controls to move around in Sapien, you requires that you have a middle mouse wheel. So if you hold down the middle mouse wheel and move your mouse around, you can look around. And then you can change the speed of how fast you move around by holding down the middle mouse wheel and hitting shift then go up to times 60 if you hit W you go forward S to go back A to go left D to go right and if you hit F you'll go down and if you hit R you'll go up so that's the controls for um, Sapien so you can fly around your map and see what you've created me Geometric Geek or what you created in GMAX. So now we're going to add our scenery, scenery around our map so that it looks a lot nicer. So I'm going to go to Hierarchy View, go to Mission, Objects, Scenery, Edit Types, click Add, locate your tags, Hill Custom Mission Root Directory. Go to scenery. We're just going to add some shrubs, some rocks, and some trees around the map. So you can add whatever you want, but that's not what I'm going to add. So I'm going to add tree leafy, tree pine, and tall pine tree. And then I'm going to go back to scenery, ta scenery directory go to rocks. I'm just going to add uh, one type of rock. Boulder granite large. And I'm just going to add one type of shrub. A small shrub. And when you have all the scenery tags you want, click done. OK. And go back to game view. And right click on your map where you want your first scenery piece of scenery to go. So just right click. That's where I'm putting mine. And go to your property view and for type change this to whatever kind of scenery you want. I'm just going to do tree pine tall. So as you can see I now have a tall pine tree right here. So just right click wherever you want those certain types of scenery to go. And then now we're going to right click where you want your second piece of scenery go to go and as long as you don't click off of off of that uh, piece of scenery you just placed it means it's still selected so I go to property view change it to whatever you want I'm just going to change to tree pine so now it's changed to a just a regular pine tree and it'll only change it as long as it's still selected so I'll just place those wherever you want them Add some here and there. Now I'm going to add just my regular leafy trees. So let's right click and I haven't selected off of it, which means it's still selected. Let's get change that to tree leafy. So now I have just a regular leafy tree right there. 
I'm just going to add some here and there around the map. And now I'm going to have my rocks. So right click where I want my rock to be. Go property view. Go to grant large. So now as you can see, now I have a rock there. So I'm just going to add my rocks around the map. And you can add your scenery or, or whatever kind of scenery you want anywhere around the map you want since this is yours. Oops. So there's my rocks. Now I'm just going to add my shrubs. So right click around where I want my first shrub to be. Go to property view and change it to my shrub. And you can just click these all over the map doesn't matter where because the shrubs can be walked and driven over so you don't really have to set them in off to the side or anything so just put those everywhere just make it look like there's not just grass and trees everywhere just makes the map look a little bit nicer so then that's our scenery for now so we've got that and uh, it'll probably be a little bit laggy for you because being able to move around pieces of your map takes up quite a bit of bandwidth so go to hierarchy view again and mm, we're going to add vehicles now so go to units select vehicles click edit types add now locate your tags go to vehicles and select whatever kind of um, vehicle you want. So I'm just going to add a uh, Warhog and a Ghost. So add uh, that. And Ghost. And if you ever encounter a uh, vehicle such as the Banshee that has a Banshee.vehicle and a Banshee underscore MP.vehicle, you always add the one that either has the MP prefix or MP, MP suffix or MP prefix. So in this case, if you if I wanted to add a Banshee, I would add the MP the Banshee MP vehicle. So I'm just gonna add the Warthog and the Ghost. So I'll click done. Okay. Go back to game view. And fly to where you want your red base to be. Now with certain things such as um your net game flags, net game equipment, and vehicles, they require what is called team indexes. And um, for the red team, you would give them a team index of 0. And for the blue team, you give them a team index of 1. So right click where you want your first vehicle to be for the red team. Go to property view. Change its type to whatever you want to be, in this case, Warthog. And there's the multiplayer team index, which I was just talking about. And we want to keep it 0 since this is for the red team and for multiplayer spawn flags we want to change it to click select all the default and allowed ones so it shows up in all game types so now as you can see we have a warthog right there and you can use the blue arrow key to rotate it the direction you want it and if you just select the little gray um, box in the middle you can move it around like that and now I'm going to add a ghost to the red team so right click where you want that vehicle to go property, change its type to ghost, and keep its multiplayer team index to zero since it's for the red team. Now I'm just going to rotate it so it's facing that direction. So that's the vehicles for the red team. Now go over to the blue base. Right click where you want the first blue vehicle to go. So right click that. And make sure you don't select off of it. Go to property view. I'm just going to change it to Warthog, and since this is for the blue team, you could have a multiplayer team index of 1. So now this is for the blue team. And use the blue arrow to rotate it. And you'll notice that the vehicles will be hovering above the ground, but they won't be in the game, so it's not a big deal. Now right click where you want your second vehicle to go. Change this to Ghost. Keep its multiplayer team index of 1. So this is for the blue team. So now I've got a Ghost. Just going to rotate it. 